So you're standing here with a, a, ba a banner saying Canadians blame Canada. What are you blaming Canada for? Well, the Stephen Harper Conservative government that got in with a tiny fraction of the uh, popular vote and the registered electorate is really in the pockets of the big oil companies that are active in the tar sands and are now trying to build a pipeline right through indigenous territories in some very delicate part of the north of British Columbia to Kitimat to export that very dirty oil to China, Japan and elsewhere in Asia. And as you know, um, President Obama in the United States recently put on hold the, um, the XL pipeline and that just puts more pressure on Canadians to try and stop, and, and the rest of the world, to try and stop the oil companies from building this alternative route, the gateway, the gateway pipeline that goes from the Athabasca tar sands right through to Kitimat, British Columbia. A lot of indigenous groups in Canada have said no, they will not allow this to happen over their dead bodies. And I think it's really important that uh, the descendants of settlers respect the indigenous people's will and stand with them, and we stand as a united front to stop that pipeline. Because if that pipeline goes through, it's going to allow the tar sands oil uh, quantity to increase by a third. And um, as many people learned during the campaign against the XL pipeline, the oil, there's a vast amount of oil in the tar sands in Alberta and, and on the border of Alberta and British Columbia. And if that oil were all produced, that would be end game. That would be it for the climate. We would all fry. And what's the link between this pipeline in Canada and, and the movement of people that we see here today? Well, in order to deal with climate change, we have to shut down big oil. And especially in the tar sands, especially the coal mining corporations, we have to shut down the fossil fuel corporations. If we shut down the big oil companies, just the four biggest oil companies, we would really be able to survive. It would be the end of this ecocidal trajectory that's threatening all life. Thank you very much for speaking to us.